war is now practically over on the Western Front officially. And VE Day should come very soon. <laughs> World War II is ending and the transition towards normal life begins. New Orleans had achieved great success as an efficient U.S. War Department location and local businesses sought to build on that success. So a plan was formed to address the anticipated volume of smaller tonnage returning to New Orleans and so in 1943 the International House was chartered. It was here that businesses could find support for their ideas solutions to their problems and broaden their contacts and professional relationships all within a welcoming environment. As expected, post-war cargoes did rebound and New Orleans emerged as a main port of exit for Marshall Plan shipments and a war-ravaged Europe could begin to rebuild. As businesses across the globe became aware of the wealth of resources provided by the International House, it became evident that a separate physical structure would be needed. And so, in 1945, the International Trademark was chartered. Dedicated in 1948, the International Trademark Building provided a venue where domestic and overseas goods could be displayed. Businesses now had a location with all the amenities of a modern center of commerce in which they could work together, see and share their ideas, and build a dynamic network of profitable relationships. Foreseeing a future merger between the two organizations, several plots of land were acquired at the foot of Canal Street for that purpose. Coinciding with the 250th anniversary of the founding of New Orleans in 1968, the new International Trademark Building was formally dedicated. With both organizations now residing in a gleaming new landmark structure, the concept of a single locale serving as a center of commerce had come into being. This brand new concept would later spread its influence across the globe, inspiring the formation of other centers of commerce, eventually leading to a worldwide network of world trade centers. As an official merger between the International House and the International Trademark drew near, finding an effective leader would be essential for its success. The search for a new managing director would eventually lead to Eugene Schreiber. Gene would bring a wealth of experience to the organization. A civil engineer, member of the Peace Corps, and a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers officer, Gene's real-world experience was perfectly suited for the post. Under Gene's leadership, the International House and the International Trademark would officially merge in 1985 and be formally recognized as the World Trade Center of New Orleans. Now representing more than 2,000 members, the World Trade Center became a champion for opening new markets and establishing Louisiana as a state of international opportunities. The organization welcomed dignitaries, business leaders, and heads of state from around the world and was awarded the President's E and E Star Awards for its performance in outstanding export service. The World Trade Center was also instrumental in establishing programs such as Louisiana tax-free shopping, making the state first in the U.S. to offer sales tax refunds to international visitors. Upon Gene's retirement in 2010, Dominic Knoll assumed the role of CEO of the World Trade Center. To build upon the strong foundation set by Gene, Dominic quickly formulated a plan to expand the World Trade Center's role in today's business environment. Today, the World Trade Center's primary focus lies in eight core areas crucial to the diverse needs of its members. Membership, programs and initiatives, industry committees, missions, research and education, consulting and matchmaking, advocacy, and white papers. The World Trade Center of New Orleans offers businesses the tools and expertise needed to expand, connect, and flourish on a global scale. With more than 95% of the world's population and 80% of the world's purchasing power outside of the United States, future economic growth and jobs for Louisiana and America increasingly depend on expanding U.S. trade and investment opportunities in a global marketplace. As it has been done for more than 70 years, the World Trade Center of New Orleans is creating jobs and wealth in Louisiana through international trade. The World Trade Center of New Orleans helping Louisiana companies grow globally. <music>